been more than a decade since the Hubble Space Telescope gave us this iconic image of a small slice of the universe. With a seemingly countless number of galaxies and other celestial objects to study, one of Webb's instruments, NearSpec or Near Infrared Spectrograph, is uniquely designed to overcome this challenge. Joining us now is the James Webb Space Telescope Project Scientist for the European Space Agency, and he's here in Greenbelt, Maryland at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Thanks for joining us. First of all, what exactly is a spectrograph? A spectrograph can take the light of one of its objects mm -hmm. and divide it in its colors. Mm -hmm. An astronomer can study how much light is present in each color. This is what we call a spectrum. And this is why NearSpec is called a spectrograph. So what do colors tell us? The colors tell us a lot of things about the object. It can tell us what it is made of, how it moves, how far it is from us, all this type of information. So what makes NearSpec so special? I'm sure there are other spectrographs up in space. NearSpec was the first multi-object spectrograph in space. And it's able to obtain spectra of multiple objects at the same time. How far along are you in building NearSpec? We are assembling it, and this is done in Germany at Astrium, our main contractor. And in fact, it would be a very good time to go there to see it before we put the protective cover on it. Well, thanks a lot for your time and telling us a little bit about the science of NearSpec. Thanks a lot. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Mary. Pierre just gave us a rundown about the science of NearSpec, and I was hoping you could tell me more about NearSpec, the instrument. Yes, for sure. The NearSpec development is for the Astrum team a really fascinating stuff mm -hmm. because we have the unique opportunity to apply new technologies in space. Is that instrument back there NearSpec? This is the first model for NearSpec which mm -hmm. we have developed to learn all about uh, the feasibility of this technology. But it's not yet the flight model. Mm -hmm. The flight model is over here and we can have a look on it. Sounds good. Mary, now mm -hmm. here you see the flight instrument. The cover is not yet on. We can do a slight mm -hmm. flight through the instrument, starting from the light, which comes mm -hmm. from the intermediate focus from the telescope. Okay. Goes up there mm -hmm. in a periscope like the submarine. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of, yeah. Then we are on the upper side of the plate, and then we have a, another telescope, and this telescope that prepares the image for the entrance of the spectrograph. Spectrograph is the area where the light is split up in its colors. Mm -hmm. We should move around and see it from the other side. So now we are on the spectrographic part of the instrument. Uh -huh. The light is spread up in its colors. These beams is then uh, focused on the detector with another telescope, which is another three mirrors. Mm -hmm. And then we have the colors on the detectors and can evaluate them further downstream electronically. Well, thank you so much for showing us or giving us a guided tour of NearSpec. You're welcome. As you can see, NearSpec gives astronomers a powerful tool, a tool that will let astronomers study as many as 100 objects at the same time. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Behind the Web.